Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a DVD Blu-ray update. Oh, my God, he's actually still doing updates. Yeah, uh, some people have been saying, stop playing games and do updates. It's like, well, okay, I, first off, I'm never stopping playing games. I've always played games, and it's always been a part of my channel, so the games are never going away ever, so just deal with it. And um, second, I can't do updates if I haven't bought anything, <laughs> kind of, the two kind of need, both things need to happen in order for the update to happen, you know, so, um, yes, so anyway, um, I have bought some things, so now I can do an update, um, so this was going to be a Fright Night Friday update, but I figured, what the heck, let's just start a little bit early or late, depending how you look at it, uh, so I'm just going to put it up today, and we'll go from there. Um, I didn't buy a ton of things because one of the things I got was really hella expensive and I just decided what the heck I'm going to splurge. I rarely splurge on stuff like this, so this is going to be the exception because it's pretty awesome. So what did I get? Let's take a look. Today on the Multimedia Chronicles, Fright Night Friday update. Not on a Friday, but we're going to call it that anyway. Go. Go. Welcome back. If you're wondering what all the racket is in the background there, Rosie's uh, working on some mega blocks that she got for Christmas. And uh, we discovered there's a little bag of pieces missing, so it's uh, making it kind of impossible. <laughs> I expect that it's uh, either on the floor somewhere or in, uh, in her hiding in her room somewhere, but we're going to keep an eye out for it and see. Anyway... Okay, update time. So first up, this is one I've been wanting to get ever since I heard it was coming out. Um, I've been checking the local stores, and I just never saw it there until uh, shortly after Christmas. Um, as you know, I have the old DVD set of this from many, 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 many moons ago. It actually came out in, like, what, 2004, I think? So from, like, 13 years ago. God, is it that long ago already? Where does the time go? Anyway, they're finally putting them out on Blu-ray. So I thought it was about time I upgraded. Um, we have Frankenstein, the complete legacy collection. Yes. So this is uh, eight movies. Every single Frankenstein movie that uh, Universal did as part of their Universal Horror line. Just one second here. I'm just going to help Rosie with the chair. Here, sorry. You just, you're about to run over the power cord there. Okay, good. <clears throat> so this has... Um, Contains Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein, Ghost of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, and Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. I have seen all of them. Uh, Abbott and Costello Meets Frankenstein, however, I haven't seen since I was a kid, so that's going to be fun to uh, to check out again. So it's basically just a nice uh, slip case, and then you got the uh, keep case inside. Take a quick peek here. Uh... So, for the most part, these are repackages of a lot of existing stuff uh, with some, some new bits added in. So, we got Frankenstein, which is the same disc you get in the individual set. Bride of Frankenstein, same disc you get in the individual set. And then we got Son of Frankenstein and Ghost of Frankenstein, which are exclusive to this set. Um, we got the, the entire Monster Mash trilogy on one disc, which is really nice. So, you got... Um, what is the Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula. So, all together... That's pretty awesome. And then Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein again, just a repackage of the uh, previously released disc. But great to have all the Frankenstein movies in one set. Now, I did do a video about these sets uh, when they were first announced, and I mentioned that there is some overlap between them. Um, I do not have the Wolfman set yet. I still need to pick that up. And still no word on when they're going to release the rest of them. I'm hoping that Dracula and the Mummy will be the next ones, because uh, those are sort of the main big... Uh, franchises that all kind of connect. To, well, I guess the mummy doesn't really connect to them, but the uh, the Dracula one for sure. So, <clears throat> um, hoping that comes out soon. But I mean, these are only released in this past September, so it's still you know fairly early. 
but uh, I guess they're still kind of seeing how they do, so please buy them if you're a fan of the Universal Monsters, because, uh, you know, all, all us fans want all of them in high def, so please, let's, let's make this happen. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that that Monster Mash trilogy disc is just kind of duplicated, because I noticed it's on, the, um, it's on the Wolfman set as well, and um, I would assume it'll be on the Dracula set as well, even though Dracula isn't in the first one, so maybe they'll... I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. I'm assuming they're going to be configuring them much the same as the DVD editions that came out a few years ago, because I noticed they're using the same covers as well. Um, there's been some complaints about this cover, that it's Boris Karloff's head photoshopped onto uh, Glenn Strange's body. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, whatever. It's the movies in high def, uh, cover art aside. So next up... Um, you may recall, well, this is just going to give it right away, but uh, you may recall a while back I picked up the 30th anniversary edition of Alien, or sorry, 35th anniversary edition of Alien. Well, they put out a companion to that, the 30th anniversary set of Aliens. So there you go. Together, really nice, except for one thing. If you're in Canada, look at all that French on the Alien spine. Oh, yeah, it just lines up beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how anal I am. Maybe I'll actually end up repurchasing this from the U.S. just to have it defrenchified and then give this one away to somebody. But um, but this set I've talked about before, it's fantastic. It comes with a comic book adaptation, and it's beautiful. Um, this one uh, does not come with a comic book adaptation, but does come with a ton of art cards and stuff like that. So both of them have like really cool pack-in material. And, um, <clears throat> and this is actually... Um, a much sturdier box than the one that the uh, alien set came in. Uh, so hold on a second, just to just to compare, we have uh, yeah, how flimsy that is. Yeah, so one slight discrepancy there, but uh, but otherwise very uh, very beautiful sets. I'll just I'll just put them side by side because they clearly are meant to go together. So um, I'm not sure if they're going to do the same thing with the other movies uh honestly i don't care if they do because these are the two important ones as far as i'm concerned i i love these two movies so much um i did a couple of reviews of them uh actually just this past halloween so if you want to check out all my gushing thoughts about them uh check out those reviews um i will include uh, links in the description and you can check that out now last yes we're at the end already <laughs> last but most definitely not least um, I saw Skinslip pick this set up, and he was he was just gushing about it. And um, gushing, I guess that's the word of the day. Gushing. When you hear that word, scream real loud. Um, yeah. So he was he was just going on and on about how amazing this set was. And um, this particular movie franchise, I've actually only ever seen the first one. I've never seen any of the multitude of sequels. Everybody tells me that the first three, maybe four, are really the only ones are worth watching. Um, so this set seems to, uh, you know, kind of align with that. I'll just show you what it is. We have Hellraiser, the Scarlet Box. Now this is a limited edition from Arrow Video. Uh, there will be some kind of regular edition apparently that's uh, not limited, but uh, but this is the one you want if you want all the goodies. So I'm not going to go through everything that's in this because this is such a massive and kind of special set that I think it deserves an episode of its own. So I'm going to do a closer look uh, at this, and we'll take a closer look at uh, the packaging and everything. So basically, the long and the short of it is, this contains uh, the first three movies, complete and uncut. Um, it contains uh, an eight-hour documentary. There was, I forget what it was called. There's a documentary that was um, that was put out a few years ago leviathan that's what it was called yeah called leviathan and uh, that it was only put out on dvd and that dvd is long out of print and fetches you know pretty high prices uh the entire documentary is on here uh spread across uh three discs so the stuff pertaining to hellraiser one is on the hellraiser one disc hellraiser two is hellraiser two etc um but apparently contains a lot of additional material that was not in the original release so uh this is so don't even bother with the original release this is the one you want because it's got way more stuff so basically um it's a it's literally an eight hour long documentary uh collectively and then on top of that there's uh there, there's a new interview with clive barker and there's a 200 page hardcover book 
uh, all about the making of the uh, the three movies. So uh, really, really cool stuff. Uh, definitely looking forward to uh, to diving into that. Uh, revisiting the first one for the first time in years. I mean, the, the last time I saw it is when I owned it on VHS. So it's been a long time since I've seen the first one. And um, <clears throat> and then finally checking out the sequels for the first time. A lot of people tell me that the second one is their favorite. So looking forward to that, definitely. So uh, yeah, Arrow Video is doing some pretty amazing stuff. I couldn't believe I actually found this on the shelf at uh, HMV here. And uh, the, the local HMV here is great for, for people like me who like the, you know, the sort of off-brand labels because they're the only place in town that actually carries a lot of them. They, carry, they started to carry a lot more Aero stuff. That's where I get most of my Scream Factory titles, aside from the handful that are only available in the States and I have to import. Um, what else? They've got stuff from Blue Underground, from Synapse, and... Uh, um, yeah, some of the other obscure labels. I mean, they just they're just sitting there on the shelf. So if you got the money, buy them. <laughs> you know, so I, I definitely support these uh, these independent labels and uh, the wonderful work that they've been doing, especially for genre fans. Um, it's amazing how many obscure movies uh, lately have been getting the deluxe, you know, royal treatment on Blu-ray. So it's uh, it's great to see. And uh, Arrow Video is, is largely considered almost the, the criterion of horror. And, uh, I mean, this, this set is a perfect example of that, of just giving, you know, ho uh, favorite horror movies the absolute royal treatment. Like, I, I don't know how this could possibly be more deluxe. You know, I mean, this is this is the def definition of the deluxe treatment for a trilogy of movies. So, um yeah, so pretty cool. So that that's it. Didn't pick up a lot. This one kind of blew the budget, uh, to be honest. It's, in case you're curious, it was 120 bucks Canadian, which um, actually is not bad considering what it normally goes for and what I imagine it will go for on the uh, aftermarket, like once it's uh, out of print and no longer available. Um, it is pretty limited. I think uh, Skinslip was saying it's limited to like 5,000 pieces. So... Um, yeah, if you want it, grab it. It's available on Amazon. Uh, feel free to use my Amazon link in the description because uh, that helps out the show and um, doesn't cost you any more or less, obviously. Um, yeah, so be sure to uh, to grab that while the grabbing's good because I don't know how much longer it's going to be available. I think it goes for about 80 bucks US. So that's, I paid about the same as what you would pay in the U.S. Um, the only difference is I didn't have to pay shipping or anything because I just picked up off the shelf. But, but yeah, seeing that on the shelf, knowing how limited it was, and having the money at the time, I was like, ah, you know what? I mean, there's certain sets that as a collector, you know if you don't jump on them while you can, you're going to regret it later. And this was one of those sets for me. Um, when I saw Skin Slip going through it, I was just like, wow, I... I really need to get that set because it's just so freaking beautiful and hopefully it will encourage Arrow to do more deluxe sets and give other franchises the deluxe treatment like that. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Uh, it is region free as well, by the way. They've been doing a lot of stuff for the North American market and because um, <clears throat> previously, of course, they were UK only. But uh, but this is one of their North American releases. There is a UK version as well. Um, I think it came out in the UK a little while ago and then they brought it over here because the there was so much demand from fans. So, alrighty, that is it for this horror Blu-ray DVD update. Well, I guess only Blu-ray. Blu-ray update, yes. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. Until then, uh, quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors, especially Kyle Pellegree, my highest level sponsor. You freaking rock, dude. Thank you so much for the support. And thanks to all of you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara. Sayonara.